We're here today at the Louisiana Sportsman Show measuring deer heads for the Big Buck Contest. This is our first look at the Big Bucks that were killed during the 2012 season in Louisiana. I'm holding a nice 10-point deer that came out of West Feliciana Parish. We're measuring official scoring Boone and Crockett and Pope and Young. Uh, Pope and Young is for the archery record book. Boone and Crockett accepts any type of weapon for that record book. Both systems are very similar. They're based on symmetry. The right side matches the left side. What doesn't match is a deduction. Typical points arise from the top of the main beams, and as you see here on this uh, brow tine, we have a non-typical point coming off of the rear. So this would be an abnormal point and would be a deduction. Um, we also have on this buck an unusual situation where we have one, two, three. This is actually a typical point, but because there is no matching point on the left beam, we're going to consider this to be an abnormal, non-typical point because it interrupts the spacing uh, of, the, of the symmetry of the deer. In the scoring system, basically the only spread that he gets credit for is the inside spread. We take our carpenter, old carpenter's rule, and we will measure the inside spread between the two beams, the greatest inside spread. Uh, we also take a, just for information's sake, uh, the tip-to-tip -tip spread and the greatest spread on the outside. But those do not count in the scoring, only the inside spread counts in the scoring. Main beam lengths are, t are taken using a cable and basically we will uh, start the cable at the end tip of the main beam, run it down the side, and a lot of times you'll see a little groove when the animal was in velvet that the cable just fits right in. And we go all the way down to the base to where the, the base of the antler kind of matches with the eye socket. We put our alligator clip on it and then we'll take our carpenter's rule again and we'll hold it up and we'll get our measurement for the main beam length. We do both the right and left main beams. In this situation, the uh, right main beam was 20 and 5 eighths. The left main beam was 21. So that's a deduction of 3 eighths for the lack of symmetry. Then we measure individual points and points are measured. And, and this is one thing I've seen hunters when they're kind of green scoring their deer, they'll make a mistake. They will actually run the length of the point to the bottom of the beam or to the halfway point. What you do is you take uh, your cable or your ruler in this situation, lay it at the base of the point over the beam and draw your line. Like for instance, if you were gonna cut this point off and just have the main beam, you would draw your line there. And so this would be the point from which you would measure the individual uh, from the tip of the point down to your baseline right there. And you do that for all, all of these. Uh, the G1 is the brow tine, G2, G3, and this would be the G4. Again, this point is considered to be a non-typical point, even though it is a, comes off the top of the main beam because there is no matching point for this one on the left side. Uh, then you go to your uh, left side and you measure your individual uh, uh, point lengths, G1, G2, G3, G4. The main beam tip is considered a point even though we've already measured the main beam. So he gets credit for that as far as the point. You take your deductions, for instance, on this deer, your G2 on your right side was eight and five eighths. Your G2 on your left side was seven and four eighths. So that's the deduction of, of one point, one inch because of the lack of symmetry. Uh, then you take your four circumferences. Uh, again, you use your quarter inch tape. And in this situation, we're taking the smallest circumference. We're, we're moving our tape and finding the smallest circumference. And in this case, the smallest circumference is four and six eighths. So we take a circumference measurements on each side between the base and G1, the brow tine. Then we'll take our second circumference measurement between G1 and G2. Then we'll take our third one between uh, G2 and G3 and then we'll take our fourth one. You always take four circumference measurements. Uh, 
if, for instance, this deer was missing the G4, it would only have one, two, three, three typical points. What we would do then is measure the distance halfway between the tip of the main beam to the G3 and take the circumference measurement there. We, you always have to have four circumference measurements. Okay, once you have uh, recorded the measurements for, for each, um, each point, each length, each circumference, you go to the score sheet, you total up the right side, you total up the left side, you total up your deductions, then you go to your column here. This particular deer had a 17 and 3 eighths inside spread. We add in the right totals, the left totals for a grand total of 134 and 5 eighths. We look at our deductions, it's 9 and 4 eighths, we subtract that and we get a net score, a spinal score for this deer of 125 and 1 8. This is a gun kill deer. In Louisiana, a deer that scores 130 qualifies for our state record book. So this deer would not make it as far as uh, with that score. Mississippi, the Magnolia records, 125 is the minimum score. So this deer, uh, had it been killed in Mississippi, would have qualified for the Magnolia records. A Pope and Young buck that scores on the typical uh, side 125 qualifies for the Pope and Young record book. So if this had been a bow kill, um, this individual would have been uh, eligible to enter the Pope and Young record book. Uh, and so that's the basic of scoring. Again, 60 day drying period. Uh, they have to be, to be accepted into Boone and Crockett and Pope and Young. You have to be, they have to be measured by an official certified Boone and Crockett or Pope and Young measurer. Uh, these measures go through a class, a workshop, and learn how to do this, and, and so that is the procedure.